Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Motorcycle Unboxing slash How To. In this one, we're going to be installing a motorcycle rack by Hepco & Becker, which is a German company, and they make some really, really high quality products for motorcycles. And this one is for my 2022 Ducati Monster 937. And before I even unbox this and put it on the bike, I just want to show this amazing uh, bubble wrapping situation I've never seen this high quality of a bubble wrap I'm actually going to save this and uh look at that gorgeous and they don't pop look Ugh, you can't pop them it's so crazy and I purchased this from a online store called Moto Machines and they went above and beyond to get it to me in time for my Canadian trip next week so let's pull everything out of this packaging and see what we got so i'll put this away all right so we got some uh little service info blah 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 general note cleaning maintenance contact cute um we got our instructions which are actually super super straightforward at first i saw them and i was like what is all this but it's actually super straightforward so that's gonna be fine. Uh, then we got some sort of a sales thingy, I guess. So that's the bags you can buy and blah, 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 and yada, yada. Very cool, very cool. Um, we got some of this tape. Then we got our hardware, including this fancy little sticker. Very cool. So let's open it up. And take a look at this at all the bolts and nuts nice very good so we will use all of these up next we got more packaging materials this right here is the party piece this is the, and I can tell, you can see my fingerprints all over already because I have already pulled it out. But it feels really sturdy, really nice and heavy. It's gonna basically replace the rear seat on my motorcycle and I'll be able to take it on and off with my key, which is amazing. And I'll put my Krieger straps onto here. So the way I can strap my Krieger bag onto this, I think it's gonna do exactly what I need. And then I can put, uh, you know, firewood on it, whatever. It's gonna be good. All right, so now let's see what we got in here. All right, just gonna have to tear into it. So this one, this little piece here. All right, so this is the, the third piece. So it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, it all feels very heavy duty and it can take a lot of weight. And that's kind of one of the big reasons why I even got this stuff. So. Let's uh, grab a couple of tools and get this thing built up. It shouldn't take too long. It looks like we just need a um, Allen key. Yep, it's all Allen keys and a couple of washers and little nuts. So let me grab some tools and we get this going. Let's get to work. I got my 10 millimeter socket and my four millimeter Allen. So that should be all the tools that I need. Let's get to the instructions and figure this out. So, bum bum bum, it lists all the, uh, all the things you need. So we will skip that, because I presume we got everything. So, remove the pillion seat and restraining straps. Those are not required. Remove the seat, first dismantle the driver's seat and pull out the bolt. Great. Do a pipe section holding with super glue. I don't think they gave me super glue. So we're just gonna push them in without super glue for now. It's four of these little rubber feet. I will obtain some super glue and perform this properly. But in the interest of right now, I think it will work without super glue. So 
Boom, boom. Gotta just twist them in. They are a little bit resistive, but should be okay. There we go. Beautiful. It's three. And now we'll do number quattro. There we go. Just twist them in a little bit and they go in. Beautiful. So that's four of those. Next, we'll take this part and according to instructions over here, we take, there should be four washers and this goes on the outside, just like that. So we will use four washers and four and two of these. So that's perfect. So we will take the washer, boom, boom, there we go, another washer on here, and then we take one of the nuts, beautiful, and we will actually tighten it up as required, then we will take another one of these. Just like that. One of these as per instructions. Interesting that they are nylon. I'm just kind of cute. All right, so that's four, right? Yep. All right, so now we we'll take our little socket. I'm not exactly sure where it's supposed to sit because these are a little bit adjustable, see? Which is kind of interesting. So we will just um, we'll just put it in the middle. There we go. Just double checking to make sure everything is exactly how it should be. Boom, tight. All right, and we got step two. So this right here, this one, I presume comes with a washer and that is for mounting the actual seat to the bike. And this one here is for mounting. All right, so here we go. This goes like that. Beautiful. So now let's figure out exactly how to do it. We got four. So we go one washer. Go like this. Then they gotta get a big washer. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do all four of these. And big washer. How do I flip these over without? All right, that's what we're gonna do. Why am I so awkward today? All right, one. Two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to put it on just like so. And then we need to put on the four little washers. Just like so. And then the nuts. So this way, once you seat them, they're not gonna be dancing all over the place.
Okay. Hold it here. There we are. What is holding? All right. So I tighten all these bolts, figured there's no reason for you to watch me struggle using basic tools. So these are all tightened up. And one of the few last uh, things to do is plugging these little black things into the holes on the top, just like so. Then adding uh, the cute little sticker. Go backer. Nope. There we go. And we'll put it facing back like that. Nope. I don't like it. It's a little bit crooked. Just the way I like it. And then the very final step is this sealing tape. Um, and I'm just going to do it along here, here, and there. So let's just see how it works. I'm gonna put it just like so. Cut off a nice slice. Just like that. Let's see. Beautiful. So we'll just go like that from here to here. And cut off the slice here. Boom. There we go. So we'll put it right here. Nice. And after this, we're gonna go and strap it to the bike. So there we go. From here to here, just like so. And I'm going to take the Kriga attachments from my 620 and attach them to the new bike. Beautiful. Now, we'll do one more. Just like that. Very good. I'm guessing this foam will probably expand a little bit. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. See, it's already rising. All right. Super cool. So, our seat is complete. Now, we're going to go down to the bike and fit it on and see how it goes. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. We're down at my bike and uh, I'm going to remove the seat first. And then, using an Allen key, you remove the passenger or pillion seat, as they say. There we go. Beautiful. And the next step is to pop off the seat right here. This piece here goes under here. And we just line it up. Just like so. Boom. And now we take our little Allen key and boom. Now all you got to do is to slap your seat back on. And there we go. We got a, a beautiful rack on our bike. Look at it. That's perfect. That's gorgeous. I like it. And now uh, the luggage can sit flat, not move left and right, not move around. It could just be where it's supposed to be as opposed to this squishy part. So here it is. Here's the final product. Um, the seat is on. The thing is adorable and I have my old straps here and my new straps 
And uh, I can already tell that this rubbing will probably cause some damage to these little side panels, but it's all right. It's a motorcycle. You're not supposed to keep it pretty. You're supposed to keep it used. Anyway, I hope this helped somebody. And uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.